Valley fever is a fungus. It lives in the soil and it's endemic or known to be in regions in the Southwest, such as Arizona, Lower California, New Mexico, and parts of Mexico. Valley fever is transmitted via inhalation of spores from the soil, especially during dusty months or high dust exposure, such as in construction zones. Initial symptoms of valley fever can be cough, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, sometimes a rash, and joint aches, and also associated fatigue. He mentions that most people with a healthy immune system can fight off valley fever naturally, but those with immune problems or on certain medications may be at higher risk. The people getting really significant illness is those that have immune problems, or if you have diabetes, or if you're on immune suppressing medications, can really put you at risk. The best way to prevent valley fever is to avoid high dust exposure. If all possible, if it's really dusty outside and you can really see the dust in the air, try to stay indoors and try to avoid that inhalation of that high dust exposure. For the male clinic.